Berkat Yahweh, Berkat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halon Yom La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bracha Hakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Bracha Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, on we will worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, all is in charity. It's your brother Mathathia from the Great Millstone Camp, the Branch on Des Moines. And um, not sure what I'm gonna title this lesson just yet. It might uh, I might just entitle it "Worthy," you know. Um, and it's based off this precept here. This is the book of Second Maccabees, fifteen and twenty-one. It says Maccabeus, seeing the coming of the multitude and the diverse preparations of Alma and the fierceness of the beast, right? So he's seeing this army, right, coming up against uh, uh him and his men, right, which they were uh, uh vastly outnumbered, right? It says. He stretched out his hands toward heaven and called upon the Lord that worketh wonders, knowing that victory cometh not by arms, right? It's not by the multitude of swords or guns or how much armor you have or, you know, no, no, no it don't come by arms. But even as it seemeth good to him, right, to the most high, he giveth it to such as are worthy, man. So the most high, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, giveth the victory unto those he seen worthy, man. You see? Because it says here in the book of 1 Corinthians, this is the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. It says, but thanks be to the most high Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, man. You see? So the Lord has given the victory unto those that he deemed worthy, right? Now, the Spirit had me look up this word worthy. Now, you, you, you see it here. It says mid-13th century, having merit, right? From worth, old English, um, person of merit. Then it goes into famous men of history and legend, Joshua, David, Judas Maccabeus, which we just read that in, in, in the book of Maccabees, right? So these are our forefathers here, man. Joshua, right? Being the successor of Moses, David being our King David and Judas Maccabees. You see, these are men <laughs> that were see, that were deemed worthy in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we can read these things, right, and emulate these things to the best of our ability because these things are written for our learning as is written in Romans 15 and 4. But it says what the definition of it, it says having merit or a person of merit. So the spirit had me go. Look up merit. Circuit 1200. Spiritual credit <laughs> for good works. Spiritual reward. Wages. Pay. Reward. Thanks merit moral worth that which assures divine pity man you see that's a heavy definition to me right there man you know those those that assure divine pity that spiritual credit and our fourth gain that spiritual credit through what let's 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 read about you know some of our forefathers this is the book of uh first maccabees 2 and 52 i'll start at 49 it says now when the time drew near that matthias should die matthias is um judas maccabees father right he said unto his sons now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength in the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. It's the same time that we're in today, man. Right? We're coming into the time of the destruction, a time like no other, in the wrath of indignation. You know, the Lord is 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 extremely pissed, man. Verse 50. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. That worthiness, that, that spiritual credit, that merit. Verse 52. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation 
and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, in being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Joshua, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. And we can read about all the exploits of these men that, that, that we're reading right here, man. Verse 57, and, 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 and what? And follow after those traits and follow after those characteristics. In Psalms, the 37 chapter, I believe it's the 37 verse. It says, mark the perfect man because the end of that man is peace. Well, our forefathers is a perfect example of that, man. And our Lord, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate example. And he comes in a volume of the book. So all our forefathers had the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shai within them in order for them to move the way that they did. Verse 57 again, David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elijah, for being zealous and fervent for the law, was taken up into heaven. He was beamed up, man. Ananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, which they Babylonian names is, um, uh, man, Abednego, um, Abednego, man. I say I say the Hebrew names so much I didn't I didn't forgot they uh their Babylonian names. Salaki, bear with me. You know it really don't matter, but I I just want to get it for edification's sake because it's gonna mess with my mind. Might be the first chapter. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. This is verse 7 right here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was their uh, Babylonian names, right? But the Hebrew names is uh, verse 59. Ananias, Azariah, and Mishael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. And through our faith, through our belief that Yahweh Shai is going to come back and, and render a recompense unto this place and deliver his elect, through our faith, we're going to be delivered from the flame to come, man. Lord's will. Verse 60. Daniel, for his innocency, because he was blameless, was delivered from the mouth of lions. <laughs> Same thing, man. Our adversary, the devil, goeth about as a roaring lion, seeketh whom he may devour, man. We remain blameless. Satan ain't got nothing against us, man. Not the spiritual demon Satan, or neither his uh, physical counterpart here on this earth being Esau Edom. Verse 61. And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. You see that? So these are men of merit that receive spiritual credit, that receive pity from, from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Let's go back to that definition. It says, that which it says, moral worth, that which assures divine pity. So the Lord is having grace and mercy upon us, man. You see? Which is why our Lord Yahweh Shah told us this. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 21. And I start at 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves, right? That's examining ourselves. Lest at any time your hearts or mine be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life and surfeiting is, is is giddiness and headache caused by drinking wine to excess so it's the overabundance right not just literal drinking but also wine is is made to make men merry so too much too much um mirth too much mirth uh, 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 uh have us out of uh, uh, out the spirit man you know and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your heart to be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. You see that? Judge worthy to deem entirely deserving. Assure that, 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 that divine pity. 
You see? It says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. You know, so that's why it says in Colossians, the third chapter, set our affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Matthew, the sixth chapter, Yahweh Shah himself told us uh, uh, where our heart is. That's where our, our, our treasure would be. You know. If our heart is set towards the heavens where our treasure is, meaning what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is knowledge because it's knowledge coming from above. If our heart is set on, uh, upon this word, if this is our truly our treasure, then that's where our mind will be, man. You see, and therefore we won't be overcharged with surfeiting and the drunkenness and the cares of this life because we're watching and praying as our Lord Yahweh Shah told us to do so that we may be found worthy to stand before him, man. This is the hope. You see? Going through these trials and tribulations, man, suffering these things and keeping our integrity, right? This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Three. I'll start at one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the heavenly father and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken from misery. Right. That's why uh, is now this is talking about literally. You know. You can um, read second Maccabees seven. Uh, that's an example, you know, with the seven sons and, and how they got put to death. You could go jump back to the sixth chapter with uh, Eleazar, you know. So there's different examples of men being put to death. And in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken from misery. Verse three, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Like one of the seven sons said, man, he said, we, 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 we're dying under the covenant of the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, roughly paraphrasing. But applying this in the spirit, the scripture says we die daily. The people that know us, man, when we came into this truth, they, they like, man, you, these guys crazy, man. You, what you do? You don't do nothing. You're boring. It says why? Because we don't run to the same excess of riot uh, uh, with them and they speak evil of us. Roughly paraphrasing what Peter wrote unto us, man. You see, so they look as our life as misery. <laughs> right. Verse four, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality, man. Yeah, we catching hell. We going through this yet. We got hope. It tells us in second Ezra to seven chapter that the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for the wide, but the wicked shall do wickedly and suffer the straight things and shall not see the wide. You see, so our hope is full of immortality, man. We're hoping to be found worthy going back to what Yahweh Shah told us in Luke, the 21st chapter verse five. This is the point. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, worthy, right? The person of merit for the most high proved them and found them worthy for himself. And that goes back to the scripture we started with, man. The most high giveth the victory to them whom he seemeth, uh, 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 whoever he want to, man. Those that are found, that those that are worthy according to him. You see, and those that are worthy are going to what? They're going to keep their faith in him to the end, man, no matter what they're going through. Just like we read in uh, um, second Mac, uh, I'm sorry, first Maccabees, the second chapter with our with our forefathers, man. What did Abraham have to go through in his temptation? The Lord told him to, to sacrifice his son. Joseph was thrown into prison. He was sold by his brothers. <laughs> you see, but yet these men kept their faith. They kept their integrity in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And that's how they were found worthy. That's how they became what? Honorable men, men of merit, men that was deserving of the spiritual credit. And the same will be given unto us if we continue in that same mentality, if we uh, uh, put on those same characteristics, man. Once again, these things are written for our learning. Romans 15 and 4. Matter of fact, I ended on that. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 15 and 4. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. You know? So hey, hey, it says, the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. The Lord is coming back in great wrath, and a lot of people is going to die. Horrible 
gruesome deaths, man. So we pray that we're found worthy to obtain mercy, man, and grace, you know? So that's all I have through the spirit. You know, um, Lord, well, I hope this was edifying. Dwadi Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakha HaKwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and the sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom.